This is one of England's last mountain hares, and it has a problem. In spite of all this space in the Peak District, it's running out of places that it can call home. Peak District, here we're at elevation up to 630 metres. It's cold and wet and it snows in winter. These are the conditions that they're adapted for and that they enjoy. It's a long trek to find them. And this man is in no doubt that the biggest threat they face is climate change. We're so privileged and lucky that we can come out and see these Arctic species. But here in 30 years time, it will be three degrees warmer and mountain hares may not be around because they do not like it being so warm. They're cold adapted, that's what they prefer. They're gonna go way up there and their range is going to shrink from about 160 square kilometers to about 20 square kilometers. They face other threats too. Scotland has banned unlicensed culling and their numbers are doing relatively well. Now ministers are examining what more needs to happen to protect the two and a half thousand left up here. I think there's one up there still. Yeah, there's two up there. These mountain hares date back to the Ice Age and they died out in England and Wales as the climate got warmer. Then in the late 1800s they were reintroduced and these hares in the Peak District are the only ones that survived. Around this time of year the hare's fur turns brown, making them less obvious to predators. So the changing climate isn't their only problem, but it could be the one that determines their survival. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Derbyshire.